Okay guys, what's up? Tuloy natin yung discussion natin. So, um, we're done with yung dead load. Next is, we're going to apply yung live load. Which uh, is uh, one of yung mga it- kailangan natin itagtag as um, primary loads natin dun sa ating structure. So, hindi pa pala natin tapos yung dead load actually. Ang natapos natin is yung reference load. So, wala ta- pa tayong ginagawang dead load dito actually. Although, I've created dito yung sample na dead load dito. Let me just delete this one. Alright. So, gawin natin yung dead load. Let us add the dead load. So, paano ba natin gagawin yun? Let's just um, click on yung load case details. Add tayo. And then, <clears throat> under primary load cases, dito, you are actually given options here. So, primary load case, meron tayong load combination, uh, load genera- generation pala, sorry. This is for yung um, moving loads. Uh, and then, we have also auto load combinations. What we want is primary, and then papalitan natin yung category nyo, yung type ng dead load. Let's not mess with yung numbering, so let's allow the software to do its thing. Uh, Siya na bahalang mag-add ng, mga number, ng number ng ating uh, load case. So of course, kailangan natin palitan and provide tayo ng tamang file name. So let me call it, call it DL for, <clears throat> for it to be a little bit simpler than... Uh, spelling it out na dead load. So, DL muna, and then add tayo. So, under DL, mag-add ulit tayo ng additional. So, this time, hindi na natin kailangan, like I said previously, yung reference load kasi, it allows us to um, use it on multiple um, areas. So, dito, gagamitin ko siya na dead load. So, makikita yan under so, you'll have to click on yung load case number 1, L, L number 1. Then, mag add ka lang. Right here. And then, hanapin natin yung repeat load. Right? Repeat load. Ayan. Kiklik lang natin yung repeat load. Andiyan yung reference load. Which also provides us yung sa ginawa natin na reference load number 1. All we, all we need to do is click on that um, R1. Dali natin sa right side by clicking this button right here. <clears throat> Oops. Yan. And then you're given a an option to provide a factor. So 1 means 100% na i-apply mo yung dead load. Dead weight dun sa structure. Wait lang. Add. Repeat reference. Ayan. So, pag 1, it means 100% yung dead weight. So, kung gusto mong dagdagan or bawasan, you can uh, certainly do so. But, I'm not going to change yung numerical value niya. Rather, ang babagawin ko dito is yung direction. Ngayon, ang pinag-uusapan na instead of weight, load na ngayon. So, kung ito is absolute value, ngayon naman, kailangan natin gamitin yung direction niya. So, dapat vector quantity na siya. So, kailangan natin incorporate yung direction. So, since gravity load siya, downwards, gamitin, na, gamitin natin ng negative 1. Alright? And then, para ma-check natin kung tama nga yung direction, i-click lang natin dun sa reference load para ma-visualize natin yung direction niya. So, far it's pointing downwards. So, tama yung kanyang direction. So, that's it for dead load. Ang susunod is... Uh, idagdag natin yung live load. But before that, pag-usapan natin yung ilalagay natin na live load. So, anong magiging reference natin? Of course, that would be NSCP. But, um, for yung ating structure kasi wala tayong levels or floors. So, we cannot demonstrate yung process ng paglalagay ng uh, loading sa mga floors. However, meron tayong roof. And yung roof natin, uh, although it's not uh, commonly uh, used or of course uh, hindi siya ginagamit for occupancy 
pero still kailangan natin lagyan ng live load for certain reasons like um, number one is yung accessibility during construction so may loading tayo niyan um, habang ginagawa yung yung uh, structure merong merong loading pa rin dyan. okay maintenance during uh, repairs ng roof kapag mag-install tayo ng bubong ng sheets ng bubong and other things like for instance may um ano to, um, may mga debris na naipon or something like that can also be uh, considered no so uh, to cover those aspects although yung yung last yung last part na nabanggit ko ibang usapan na yun so yung nabanggit dito sa NSCP na roof live load is all about yung uh, nauna ng mga uh, categories yung sa construct during construction during repair yun yun yung reason kung bakit meron tayo nito okay so ito yung provision so it was This was discussed on yung mga previous na lectures. So, let's not focus on that part. So, ang gagawin lang natin is uh, diretso tayo sa table 205-3. So, minimum roof live load, sabi niya dito. This will be applicable for yung purpose natin. Now, unang-una is kanahanapin natin yung slope. Okay, let's look or let's determine the slope of yung structure. So, yeah. Okay, natin dito. Paano ba kunin yung slope? Rise over na, run lang. So, tignan natin yung structure natin. Yung roof natin na to, yung height niya is 1 meter. Yung kanyang uh, run or yung haba niya is 4. So, 1 over 4 is nasa 25%. Right? Roof. Slope. So, 25%. Ibig sabihin, pag pumunta tayo dun sa code, it's falling under number 1. Yan. Less than 33%. So, may dalawa kang option na pwedeng gamitin. You can either use method number 1 or method number 2. I'd rather use number 2 para ma-demonstrate natin yung reduction ng live load. Okay, so anong gagamitin natin na uniform load? Number 1. And then, ito yung, yung parameters ng reduction. So, please return or I mean, review yung discussion natin regarding um, reduction ng live load. So, punta ko dun sa aking calculation. So, ito yung sabi dun sa code. Meron tayong dalawang equation na pwedeng gamitin. I mean, na, na dapat gamitin. R1 and R2. Ito yung main. Ito yung lim limitation. Alright? So, um, ito yung limitation pa na additional, uh, 40% and 60%. So, anong gagawin natin? I-compute natin yung R1. So, according to yung code, ito yung value. Actually, uh, as discussed dun sa previous na lecture, or I mean sa lecture, yung value nito, it's not correct. Somehow, may typographical error or I'm not sure kung typographical error or talagang sinadya na gano'n yung value. But actually, kapag binalikan natin yung reference ng NSCP, that would be IBC 2018 yung latest, yung value na to, ito yung original, naka-SI siya. So, yung A dito is naka-fit. So, dito, kapag SI, oh, sorry, uh, English. Hirap kasi sa... American code, they're still using English. Um, okay, so ito yung original. Pero yung code natin, ito yung lumabas. Now, I believe typographical error to because if you're going to convert yung actual na, na um, equivalence niya, ito dapat. R1 is A minus 13.94. Mukhang tama naman. However, yung R value natin is... Uh, Medyo mali, mal, maliit masyado. Yung actual na R value for 0.08, kapag kinonvert natin to SI unit, that would be uh, 0.861. This is for, tignan natin dito. Ito yung tinutukoy ko dito. Na. So, yan, 0.08. So, yung 0.08, it's supposed to be 0.861. 
So, kapag kinumpute natin to, yung area dito should be yung area that is being carried by the the member. Yung area ng roof na kinikerry ng member, so ito siya. Pag tinignan natin yung pinakamalaki uh, na area uh, to be carried, ito. Uh, yung kanyang tributary area will be 3.5 on, uh, kalahati ng 3.5 on both ends. 3.5 half, 3.5 half. So, that would be 3.5 yung total niya. And then, yung kanyang length, para kunin yung area, that would be 4.1231. Kaya yung area natin dito, that would be 3.5 times yung length na 4.1231. I-minus natin yung constant and then yung R value, small r, ang outcome is 0.4226. Remember na naka-percentage yan. Okay, naka-percentage yan. So, kung ano man yung makuha natin dito, automatic na mag-attach tayo ng percentage. Next is kunin natin yung R2 according to yung code. Ito, 23.1. Hindi natin kailangan ng conversion kasi unitless naman to. So, nag-cancel out yung loading dito. So, D all over it. Um, okay, so how did I come up with yung mga values? Number one is yung live load ko dito. Yung i-apply natin na pressure load is 1. Dito, live load. So, dito yan ang galing. How about yung dead load? So, sa ako yun yung dead load. I, I came up with yung value by simply going back to my structure. So, tinignan ko yung dead weight. Ano ba yung mga in-apply ko na load din dito? Um, Doon sa sa notes ko previous sa previous na lecture, 0.4 tsaka 0.4 Diba? So, para dun sa roofing and then ceiling parameters, kilopascal, so parang nasa 0.8. Nagdagdag na lang ako ng additional. So, ito kasi, hindi naman to critical masyado. Limitation lang to. And of course, masyadong malit na yung R1. Nag-check, pang-check ko lang to. So, I, I do not need, I mean, it's, it's not required for me to uh, make a full calculation of yung DL. But of course, kung kailangan natin i-compute, then, um, All you need to do is convert yung dead weight na to. Convert nyo lang yung dead weight na to into yung uniform KPA value niya. Yung total nito. So, like I said, yung portion na to, nasa ang total nito is 0.8. Ang ginawa ko na lang is to be conservative, yung self-weight ng, ng mismong element, sinama ko na lang as uh, additional na 0.2 kaya naging 1. Kaya dito naging... Um, one all over one. Well, it doesn't matter kasi, like I said, masyadong maliit yung R1. Now, after nyan is, uh, ito yung value ng R2. Ngayon, i-compare na natin. Sabi sa code, R1 should be less than 40%. Bakit naging 40%? Because according to yung code, sabi niya dito, percent. should not exceed 40%. For members receiving loads from one level only. So, isang level lang naman, so 40%. Okay, so yun yung limit natin. So, of course, masyadong maliit. It's less than 40 and then also it's less than R2. Sabi niya dito, as determined by um, yan, R, R2 dito. So, yung value niya is ayan, uh, 46.2%. So, ang mag-govern yung maliit, that would be 0.4226. Ito yung gagamitin natin sa ating conversion. Ngayon, yung uniform load natin is 1 kilopascal um, times 100% or 1 minus 0.04226 divided by 100. So, ang outcome natin dito is 0.996. Naka-pressure siya. Ang gusto natin, distribute natin dun sa member, sa element dito. Kaya, ang gagawin natin is, uh, we'll follow the same procedure as what you have done doon sa dead load. Um, we multiply the value by the tributary width. Ito is para doon sa middle beam. Ito naman is para sa end beams. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung i-apply natin sa, <clears throat> sa mga middle beams natin. 3.486 kilo newton per meter. 
Let's do that. So, punta tayo dun sa ating model. Load case, add tayo. And then, primary loads. Again, do not worry about number. Palitan natin yung load type ng live load. Let me call this one LR because it's a reducible live load. Or, better yet, I just say uh, live load siya, pero reduce, reduced. Add tayo. Actually, da, pwede natin i-consider yung um, option dito na may reducible tayo. Or, since minanual natin yung calculation, we do not have to care, uh, care about yung portion na to. Okay? So, like I said, ito is um, an option to reduce yung value. Pero, if we want, we can manually calculate yung value. So, meron na tayong manual calculation. Um, no need to worry about yung reducible value. So, 3.486. Remember na ang live load is gravity. Pababa since occupancy naman to. So, or I mean, uh, live load siya na uh, gravity. So, negative um, global y. Okay. Hindi natin papalitan yung mga distances natin. Add. Next, i-add natin yung para sa mga end beams natin. Negative 1.743 global y. Same distances. Add. Then, <clears throat> same process. Pupunta tayo sa view. And then, open view. Roof beam. Okay. Front view. Select natin yung mga uh, roof beams natin. Tanggalin natin yung end beams. Tsaka natin i-apply yung middle beam loading natin. Assign the selected beam. Okay. And then, after nyan, piliin natin yung mga end beams natin. I-apply natin yung end beam loading. And then, as far as yung loading natin goes for, para sa dead load and live load, yun na yung mga value. Okay? So, yun eh. Yun na yung uh, part natin for yung live load and dead load.